Imagine a star, not in the sky, but right here on Earth. Not a distant ball of fire millions of kilometers away, but a blazing core of energy, created by human hands, pulsing with promise beneath our feet. This is ITER, a miniature sun, painstakingly built by humanity, housed within a colossal machine of steel and superconductors. It's a marvel of modern science, a testament to our ambition to harness the very power that fuels the universe. The largest, most ambitious energy project ever attempted, uniting 35 nations, thousands of scientists, and decades of research. Here, borders blur and languages mix, all in pursuit of a single, world-changing goal. Eider promised clean, limitless energy, our answer to the climate crisis, a beacon of hope in a world desperate for sustainable solutions. It was more than a machine. It was a symbol of what humanity could achieve together. But then, in a moment that stunned the world, the star went dark. The hum of progress fell silent. The world's biggest fusion reactor shut down, without warning. The silence echoed through the halls, leaving only questions in its wake. What happened? This marvel of engineering was supposed to be our beacon, our guiding light into a new era. The shutdown wasn't just a technical glitch. It was a jolt to our collective dream. Years of effort, hope, and collaboration seemed to hang in the balance. Was the technology too complex? Had we reached too far, too fast? Or was this just another challenge on the long road to progress? Eider's story is about our quest to replicate the sun's power, to bottle the energy of the stars and bring it safely to Earth. For generations, we looked at the sun and wondered, could we build one of our own? Could we master the forces that light up the cosmos? Eider was our bold answer. It was a leap of faith, a declaration that we would not be limited by what seemed impossible. Its silence forced us to reflect, not just on a machine, but on our hopes and ambitions and the risks we take to reach for something greater. So, let's journey inside Eider, to the heart of the machine, the science behind it, and the moments before the silence. Let's uncover what really happened and what it means for our future. We'll see if this star can shine again, if the dream can be reignited, and if hope can be restored. This isn't just a story about technology, it's about us, about our determination, our setbacks, and our relentless pursuit of a better tomorrow. Our drive to reach for the stars, even the ones we try to build on Earth, is what defines us as a species. The path to clean energy was never going to be straight. Every twist and turn is a lesson, every setback a chance to learn and adapt. This shutdown is a twist in the journey. Let's navigate it together and see where the road leads next. The story of ITIR is far from over. In fact, it may just be beginning. Fusion, the universe's ultimate power source, has captivated scientists and dreamers alike for generations. It's the very process that lights up every star in the night sky, including our own sun, bathing our planet in energy and warmth. Fusion occurs when two light atoms, such as hydrogen, are forced together under unimaginable heat and pressure. They merge, forming helium and unleashing a tremendous burst of energy, far more than any chemical reaction on Earth. Einstein's famous equation, EXMC2, reveals the secret. Even a tiny amount of mass can be converted into a huge amount of energy. This is the principle that powers the stars and could one day power our world. Why does this matter so much? Because our current energy sources, fossil fuels and nuclear fission, are not only dirty and dangerous, but also finite. They pollute our air, contribute to climate change, and leave behind hazardous waste. Fusion is fundamentally different. Its fuel is incredibly abundant. Deuterium can be extracted from ordinary water, and its only byproduct is harmless helium. There's no risk of a catastrophic meltdown, and no long-lived radioactive waste to worry about. The main ingredients are deuterium, found in every drop of water, and tritium, which can be produced inside the reactor itself. Together, they offer a nearly limitless supply of fuel. Just a bathtub of water contains enough deuterium to power a single person's energy needs for decades. Imagine a world with no greenhouse gases, no air pollution, and no dangerous radioactive waste. Fusion is the ultimate clean energy dream. Safe, sustainable, and almost limitless. It could transform the way we live and work. 
That's why nations around the world have invested billions of dollars and decades of research into unlocking this power. It's a global effort, uniting scientists and engineers from every continent. Fusion isn't just about generating electricity. It's about transforming our relationship with the planet and ensuring a brighter, cleaner future for generations to come. It's the promise of clean, abundant power for everyone, everywhere, from the world's biggest cities to its most remote villages. Imagine fueling civilization not by burning the remains of ancient life, but by building a star right here on Earth. That's the revolutionary potential of fusion. This is the promise that fusion holds, a future where energy is clean, safe, and virtually inexhaustible. It's why scientists and engineers are so determined, working tirelessly to overcome every challenge and bring fusion power to reality. Fusion could be the breakthrough that changes everything, our technology, our environment, and our way of life. The stakes are high, but so is the potential. The world is watching, and the future is waiting. This is the energy of the future, a future powered by the same force that lights the stars. And Eider, the world's largest fusion experiment, was built to prove that this dream can become reality. Nestled in the rolling hills of southern France lies Eider, one of the most ambitious scientific projects ever undertaken by humanity. This sprawling facility is not just a building, it's a symbol of hope for a cleaner, more sustainable energy future. Built through the collaboration of 35 nations, IDAR brings together the brightest minds from across the globe, all united by a single goal, to unlock the power of the stars here on Earth. At the heart of ITIR stands the Tokamak, a massive, donut-shaped magnetic bottle designed to contain and control the most extreme conditions ever created on our planet. Inside, Plasma is heated to an astonishing 150 million degrees Celsius, over 10 times hotter than the core of the sun. This is the temperature needed for fusion to occur. No known material can withstand such heat, so ITER uses powerful superconducting magnets to suspend the plasma, keeping it floating in mid-air, away from the reactor walls. The tokamak itself is a marvel of engineering, weighing as much as three Eiffel Towers. Here's how it works. Hydrogen fuel is injected, then superheated and transformed into plasma, the fourth state of matter. Using a combination of magnetic fields and additional heating systems, the plasma is pushed to fusion temperatures. When the hydrogen atoms fuse, they release tremendous energy, which heats water, spins turbines, and ultimately generates electricity. Eider's ambitious goal is to produce 10 times more energy than it consumes, demonstrating that fusion can be a viable, powerful energy source for the future. While Eider itself is not a commercial power plant, it serves as a crucial proof of concept, showing the world that fusion energy is within our reach. As the world watches with anticipation, many hope that Eider will light the way to a new era of clean, limitless energy for generations to come. The year 2025 was set for Eider's first plasma, a historic moment. Engineers ran final tests, checking every system. The atmosphere was electric. Everything seemed on track. On August 18th, the cryogenic system, vital for cooling the magnets, was under test. Suddenly, alarms blared. Red lights flashed. Pressure dropped. Temperatures rose. Automated safety systems kicked in, shutting everything down. The hum of the machine faded to silence. The star machine had gone dark. In moments, excitement turned to crisis. The world's hopes paused, waiting for answers. What had gone wrong? The dream of fusion was on hold. But the story was just beginning. In the aftermath, safety came first. Teams scoured the facility. The shutdown had worked, preventing disaster. But what caused it? Experts from around the world dug into the data. The culprit, a microscopic flaw in a weld on a high-pressure helium pipe. It had passed every test, but under stress, it failed, like a tiny crack in a windshield suddenly spreading. The rupture caused a massive helium leak, triggering the emergency shutdown. The machine had protected itself, just as designed. Even the smallest flaw can have huge consequences in a machine this complex. The investigation revealed both the challenge and the brilliance of ITER's safety systems. News of the shutdown spread fast, sparking speculation and criticism. Was this the end for ITER? Critics said fusion was a fantasy, but as facts emerged, the scientific community rallied. 
Setbacks, they argued, are part of any great endeavor, like the early days of spaceflight. The 35 partner nations stood united, reaffirming their commitment. The incident became a global lesson in fusion and its promise. Disappointment gave way to understanding. This was a challenge, not a failure. The silence of ITER started a worldwide conversation about our energy future. What's next? The ITR team is determined. The star will shine again. Repairing the deep damaged pipe is a massive challenge, requiring custom robotics and months of work. The timeline for first plasma will shift and budgets will be revisited. But the project's international partnership remains strong. Lessons learned will make ITER safer and inform future reactors. Every setback pushes science forward. The journey is delayed, but the destination, fusion power, remains in sight. Setbacks are part of progress. ITER's shutdown isn't the end. It's a dramatic chapter in our quest for fusion. Fusion remains our best hope for clean, continuous power. Around the world, public and private teams are racing toward the same goal. The knowledge from ITER, even its failures, benefits everyone. The journey continues, fueled by human curiosity and determination. ITER stands as a symbol, not of failure, but of our courage to try. We are explorers and problem solvers. One day, we will light our world with the fire of a star. The dawn of fusion is still ahead, waiting for us to build it.